Last time on Lessons in Love. In order to get a good look though, I need to stand right next to Ayane. Which of course means I need to continuously swat her hand away from me every three seconds. Stop it! Oh, but please! Stop it! Stop it! Like, talking to a dog. And now it only hurts when you touch it. <laughs> Ditch! Do I have to follow you all day? Let's get the show on the road. One hundred twenty-three days have passed. I feel like it was. Am I? Maybe I'm delusional. I thought it was one hundred twenty-three days yesterday. Well, I might as well. Another morning at cafe means another chance to be poisoned by an overly creative and slightly intimidating barista. But upon entering, I realize that Rin isn't behind the counter. In fact, no one is behind the counter. No one is in the cafe at all. What exactly is going on here? Hey, loser! Can't you read? Huh? Dude, I put a big sign up on the door that says that we're closed today. Why isn't it locked? What? Why? Why are you in your casual clothes? Because we're closed today. Are you even listening to me? Can I get a grande cappuccino and you can get the heck out. I ain't making you some stupid cappuccino on my day off. To be fair, you probably wouldn't make one for me on your day on either. True that, homie. <laughs> homie? Sir, I meant sensei. I mix those two things up all the time. I feel like that would be mildly problematic if you had literally anyone else as a teacher. Well, I guess I'm lucky I ended up with you then, huh? I guess so. For real though, why are you closed? It's me, I think we're having some repairs done or something. Haruka asked me to come in and help clean stuff up, but told me I wouldn't need my uniform or anything. But as soon as I got here, she told me she already had it taken care of and that I wasn't needed at all. I was actually starting to worry about what to do with all of my extra free time, but now you're here. I can make you come with me. Come with you where? I need coffee. And we can get coffee on the way. I want to walk around the city. I haven't been getting out much lately, and I need some exercise before my limbs fall off or stop working or something. Neither of those things happen due to lack of exercise, but sure, I'll walk around with you. Cool, let's head out then. You don't need to tell Haruka you're leaving. She'll figure it out. Besides, I already told you she doesn't need me. You can just bail and it'll be totally cool. Well, I'll follow you then? Roger that! Rin and I spend some time walking around the more metropolitan section of Kuminmi. What the hell is that in the top left? She winds up forcing me to stop at some anime shop along the way, but knowing very little about the subject, I just wind up watching her freak out about prices. In case you're wondering, we did not stop for coffee. I'm now going to be in a bad mood for the rest of the day. What's your deal? You've had that frowny face on ever since we left the cafe. I always have one. Not bears to be walking around with a cute girl, are you? I am close. I'm just in dire need of caffeine. Oh crap, I totally forgot. Why didn't you say anything sooner? I even dragged you into that one store that you were totally uninterested in. That's precisely why I didn't say anything. You looked like you were having a good time. Even if I had absolutely no idea what was happening. Uh, I really wish you'd be more open about your needs, you know? If this relationship is ever going to work, you're going to need to be honest with me. Relationship? What are you talking about? We're just friends, aren't we? Friends, no, not even close. But what are we? Rin pauses for a moment, her face begins to turn red, and her eyes well up with tears. I know this face, she's about to confess her. Homies! What? We're homies, that's like four steps above just friends. Probs wouldn't know that though, since you're so old and lame and stuff. Why am I being bullied today? I just want some coffee. And I want a cute Kiaru girlfriend with fishnets and a cell phone addiction. Can't always get what we want, Sensei. You watch too much anime. But since I'm the greatest and coolest girl in the entire world, we can stop and get you some coffee. Come on, I know a pretty good place right around the corner and... Ah! Rin suddenly stops walking when something catches her attention. Before I can even figure out what it is, she accidentally jogs over to something. Or... Someone. Oh my god, no freaking way! Kaiori, is that really you? You again? How do you know my name? Who are you? Identify yourself. Uh, what's going on here? Hamburger Man, help! I'm under attack! Hamburger Man? It's better not to not ask. Hi, Kyrie, how are you? Horrible, I require assistance. I will pay you in meat. What exactly do you need assistance with? You're not under attack. I'm not under attack? Of course not. Friend, would you mind explaining how you know Kyrie? Has she been your waitress before or something? 
Waitress, are you kidding? She's like a totally famous Instagram model. Uh, what? What is this Instagram you speak of? Explain yourself. Sensei, remind me to show you her page later. She takes tons of super cute pictures of all kinds of stuff. Some of her selfies can get pretty risque, too. My interest in this conversation has suddenly skyrocketed. Why does that strange word mean risque? It means sexy. But what? Sexy? I am the queen of spiders. I am not sexy. Friend, how risque are these photos exactly? Why do you not show more concern for my well-being? They're not like super risque, just some close-ups of her tattoo and some underwear pics and stuff. Only fans. This is not true. I do not even know what an Instagram is. The only pictures I have inserted into the digital world have been for personal documentation of my journey through this planet. Wait, I kind of feel like you're being serious right now. You haven't really been posting those pictures on accident, have you? Wait, are we not going to question why she's taking pictures in her underwear for personal documentation? Whose team are you on, Hamburger Man? I'm just on the team that wants to see the pictures, to be honest. <laughs> These pictures are not to be seen by the prying eyes of a man such as yourself. Even if you are a prime mating specimen who is also extraordinarily attractive. What? Uh. What? What is the reason for the sudden silence? I'm not yet familiar with human conversation and acceptable behavior. Sensei, I think Kyori... I think Kyori wants to mate with you. Can we please make this less weird? I said no such thing. Can I maybe watch? What the fuck? You may not. Wait, what are you intending to watch in the first place? I think she wants to watch us mate. I will not mate with you. I don't even know what an Instagram is yet. There are many preparations that have yet to be made. My body is unprepared. Kaiori wants you to prepare her body. Why do you spout so many lies? How have I wronged you? Sensei, what will you do? Don't do that thing. Prepare the body. What the fuck? Well, I have to do the funny thing because Rin's watching. Well, I suppose I'll have to do what must be done. You will do no such thing. Why must so many confusing things happen today of all days? Huh? Something wrong, Kaiori? Are you having a bad day? The worst day. The woman at the pet store would not provide me a furry companion to nurture and call my own. Why not? Did you not have enough money or something? I have all of the money, which is why I don't understand why they showed up. They? The human police. I'm not sure where you're from, but we just call them the police here. Of course you do, Hamburger Man. You know all the secrets to this world, don't you? I... No? I don't trust you. And I will not mate with you. And I will now leave. Good day, humans. She's different from how I expected her to be. Yes, Rip. Yes, she is. Shortly after that, we were able to procure my normal human coffee and... Ugh. Now even I'm beginning to sound like Kaori. I gotta see what happens. Don't do that thing. I'm not sure if she's ready yet, Rin. Maybe I can help her get ready then. Absolutely not. Do not come near me, heathen. Why must so many confusing things happen today of all days? Okay. We bought coffee and then I walked Rin back to the dorm. The end. Okay. What should I do? What was I gonna do? Shrine, shrine, the 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 shrine or dojo? Shrine, I guess. Fifteen. Uh, Yumi. Sure. I can do or make the executive decision to once again not say anything. Oh, it's different. You mean I have been on better terms as of late, but it's still inherently clear that she hates my guts. Which is fine, don't get me wrong, but it does make for slightly more boring narration during times like that. Yeah, what do you want? I have a... Say one thing about a fucking pizza delivery and I swear to god I'll rip your nuts off. Uh, I've missed Yumi. Uh... Did somebody order... Chinese food? Listen, I've only done pizza delivery once. What are you talking about? 
It's fucking coming. The door is open. Turn the handle. And Yumi's theme song immediately starts playing in my head. Of course. Because why wouldn't it? I feel like this song is significantly louder than the others. The fuck are you talking about? I don't even have any music on. It's the... Oh, never mind. What are you up to? Nothing. Cool. Cool. This is the part where you ask me what I'm up to, or how my day went, or literally anything. Just ask me a goddamn question, Yumi. I can't carry every conversation. Hmm, you want a question, huh? Give me a sec to think of one. Oh, uh, sure, I can wait. Yumi closes her eyes and begins to think of all the things she... Why are you so fucking annoying? Okay, I asked for that one, didn't I? Yes, and also fuck you. I really don't appreciate insults at this stage of our relationship, Yumi. What stage do you think we're at, douchebag? All I did was sign some stupid paper that said you need to buy me free lunch. You're leaving out the most important part of the contract, getting you a job so you don't have to sell stolen TVs to people. Is that really part of the deal? Can't say I remember it. Well, if you don't want to hold up your end of the bargain, I'm perfectly fine walking away from this. Cool, walk away then. Yeah, you didn't think that one through, did you? Okay, I kind of expected you to try and stop me there, but I guess not. You expect a lot of weird shit, you know what I- I'm starting to figure that out, yes. Well, it's whatever. You haven't really done anything shitty today, so I guess I can humor you for a little while. I guess you came here to talk about that work thing? Not specifically, but I guess we can find as well since we're already on the topic. Is there anything you're interested in working, Yumi? Or maybe some job you'd like to try out? you let me choose? Did you think I was going to just bring you to random places until one of them hired you? Uh, kinda. Yeah, I did too, I'll be honest. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be any actual effort involved on my part. You're going to need to put effort into more than just choosing a place to apply to if you really want to earn money. How many fucking times do I have to tell you that I'm not good at shit like that? A few more, apparently. Just fucking choose a place, dude. I don't really care. I told you I'm just in it for the free food. Then, how about something like a maid cafe? What? No, that's like an Amy thing. Yumi elects to not say anything at all, filling the room with an awkwardly tense silence that would be sure to make me sweat if I wasn't twice her size. The fuck did you just say to me? I asked if you'd be okay with working somewhere... Wow, he said it again. I asked if you'd be okay with working somewhere like a maid cafe. Of course I'm not fucking okay with working at a maid cafe. Can you even imagine me dressing up in something as embarrassing as that? Yes, actually. Okay, I can. Well, stop! It's not a thing anyone should ever think of. Now, give me a fucking real suggestion before I rip up your goddamn contract. Just make photocopies, quick. Steve, when you blackmail someone, you never bring the originals along. If you do, your target can take them away. And then where are you? Don't get excited. I made copies as insurance. I could go an entire year without lunch as long as it meant not having to do some stupid shit like that. I think for a moment about places that might be hiring a part-timer. Somewhere that wouldn't mind taking on someone like Yumi. Before long, I realized that I have absolutely nothing. Well, next to nothing. The truth is that there is one place I can think of, but I'm pretty sure they're already full-staffed. But I guess there's no harm in suggesting it, at the very least. Okay, how about something like... A cafe. A cafe? You mean like the one headphones works at? Headphones? Who the hell is- Oh, you're talking about Rin. Yeah, headphones. The one who's always staying at Chica and shit. You've noticed that? If it's something she's trying to hide, then she's doing a piss poor job. Barely even come to school and I noticed that. That's relatively worrying. But yes, the one that Rin works at. She seems to like her job and I can't imagine being a barista is all that hard. They have to memorize all those fucking confusing ass drinks, though. My memory kind of sucks, not gonna lie. I can't even remember what I ate for breakfast today. Probably nothing because. Probably nothing because you can't afford breakfast. <laughs> Damn. Hey, watch your fucking mouth, dick. If you want to talk, just because I don't have money doesn't mean you get to fucking tease me about it. I'm not teasing you, just trying to motivate you to turn things around. The sooner you get a job, the sooner you get to start buying things to improve your life. For example, wouldn't you feel good about yourself if you managed to save up enough to buy Chinami a present or something? Oh, give me a fucking break. Do you really need to bring her into this? That shit ain't fair. You'd have to be a heartless fuck to not have a weak spot for that little toy. Hey, the fuck you getting all quiet for? 
No reason. It's just rare to see you actually show that you care about someone. Yeah, well, fuck you. So anyway, is the cafe okay? I never got a clear answer. Ah. Amy lets out a sigh and thinks to herself for a moment. I guess she's decided to stop refuting everything I say and put some actual thought into something for once. The truth is, I can't imagine her actually working at that cafe. But it's a good place to start. Right now, I think a job where Yumi doesn't have to deal with people is probably the best course of action. But from what I remember, there aren't a lot of jobs like that open to girls her age. Uh, I don't know. Great. Yumi walks away from me and takes a seat on the bed, grabbing one of her pillows and pressing it up against her chest. I don't think anyone would want to order from anywhere that I'm working. I wouldn't want to fuck up business for that place when they just open and shit. Plus, I'm not really friends with headphones. She'd probably think it's weird. Rin's not like that. She's pretty cool with everyone, and you both look similar. What, is she part of your gross-ass harem, too? I can't really tell right now. I have no idea what the hell that means, but I'm just going to assume you're fucking her, too. Yeah, you seem to assume that about everyone. Yep, sometimes I think I'm the only one left with any ounce of self-respect. You and I have kissed, though. Not because I wanted to, you fucking rapist. Whoa there, calm down. Can we get back to the cafe thing? I don't know, can we? Or are you just gonna stop blowing out more unnecessary shit from the past that I'm still trying to forget about? Think you should give it a shot? Hope you're tired about the cafe again, not make it out with you. I mean... I mean, I'm not... It's not like I'm opposed to the latter, but... Yes, I mean the cafe. I say we go there sometime and give it a shot. Worst comes to worst, you don't get hired and wind up with free lunch instead. What if I do get hired, though? Not saying I will, of course. I mean, just fucking look at me. What if I do get hired? Can't be as friendly as headphones or even half as nice. Can't even fucking smile 99% of the time. No one's gonna want someone like that behind the counter. I'll just wind up without a job again soon enough. And so, you think it's better to give up before you even try? You may stay silent for a moment, likely pondering over the impact of my last sentence. I'm not always the best when it comes to giving advice, but I'm pretty sure that I have the optimal response in this case. The truth is, she's got a point. There's no way she can be as friendly as Rin. That's not the type of person she is. But that doesn't mean she shouldn't try. Life is all about facing your fears and trying to accomplish the un unaccomplished That's not a word. The unaccomplishable? Life is all about facing your fears and trying to accomplish the unaccomplishable. It's also all about banging as many cute girls as you can. Just that part doesn't really apply to her. Fine. I'll come with you to a stupid cafe. You still have to buy me lunch when I don't get hired, got it? Got it. We can go wherever you want. Wait, really? Anyway? Okay with spending that kind of money on me? I mean, I wish you'd be a little nicer to me every once in a while, but yeah. Um, cool. Okay. Guess if we're okay with it, then it's fine. I'll try not to get too much, though. I know how much it sucks when you wind up racking up a bill you can't afford. Just get whatever you want, and don't even worry about it. As long as you make a somewhat conscious effort at the cafe, I'll be happy. Right. She smiled! Aww! Aww. I don't stick around much longer after that. Frankly, I'm surprised Yumi let me hang out in there for as long as I did. But I guess if this job hunting thing is ever going to work out, she needs to force herself to accept my presences in at least slightly larger doses. I just wonder how she'll fare at the cafe. Now, hopefully she does a decent job. 23. 124 days have passed. Not a lot is happening, really. Like, story-wise, anyway. Alright, I mean, that's probably my fault. Kind of. Partially. Wow, how are you doing, Yumi? Hey, Yumi, I'm goddamn not this shit again. 24. 125 days have passed. It's Tuesday, so I have like all week for Yumi, so I can just wait. Maybe. Well, I mean, I only have to do it once, like, in the week, so it's not a big deal. But I do feel bad for Ayane and Amy. Maybe I should hang out with Amy. Fine. Where's Amy? Amy, are you in there? Mm-hmm, come in, Sensei. Alright. Yeah, where is we? Yep. Twenty-six days have passed. Should I do 
aim me again? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, how much is Yumi? Okay, doing Yumi and then like Amy twice would probably work out fine. Is she watching? Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's watching lo fi beats or something, I think. Wait, what did that say? Oh. Under 27 days, it based. Sorry, Ayane, I'll hang out with you soon. I'll do Yumi again. Yeah, what do you want? In 28 days it passed. Well, there's Amy again, so might as well. Did you miss me since of course I keep having to make my own dinner on weekends and it's ruining my life. Yeah, yeah, sorry, but uh, I'll just get you something extra special next time I'm home, okay? Spend some time hanging out in the hallway while she waits for my get back. Glad two of them are so close, but it is kind of lonely without her at times. Either way, it's good that she seems to be enjoying her high school life. Hopefully two of us can find some more time to spend some time together. Sorry, I meant sensei. I mix those things too up. Is there anything you're interested in working in? All I did was sign some stupid paper that said you don't... All I did was sign some stupid paper that said you need... All I said... I could go on an entire year without lunch as long as it meant not to... I could go an entire year without lunch as long as it meant to not have do some... I really could... Oh my god. I could go an entire year without lunch... 